Hello, today we'll be talking about Gyarados, the only evolution of Magikarp who evolves at level 20. It's also the first water flying type Pokemon. Its previous PYC dates are July 5th, 1996, April 26th, 1999, February 14th, 2002, December 5th, 2004, September 26th, 2007, July 17th, 2010, May 7th, 2013, February 26th, 2016, December 17th, 2018, and October 7th, 2021. I most remember Gyarados from the original title sequence of the English dub of the anime, and the second episode of a two-part episode where the SSN sinks, where the Magikarp that James gets from a vendor on the ship evolves into Gyarados and rampages. This Pokemon is one that if I saw in real life I'd be terrified of, and the design of Mega Gyarados adds to this. Anyway, let's get into the Bulbapedia article. Hello and welcome to the Bulbapedia section of the video. Today we're talking about Gyarados, the atrocious Pokemon, whose number is 130. This is Gyarados, this is what it looks like. This is Mega Gyarados, this is what it looks like. Types, Water Flying for regular Gyarados, and Water Dark for Mega Gyarados. So, because it's, it's our first Water Fly, you can see the water inside, the flying outside. Abilities, Intimidate as Gyarados, and its hidden ability, regardless, is Moxie, and... Mold Breaker is Mega Gyarados' ability. Gender Ratio is 50-50. Catch Rate is 45 or 11.9%. Breeding is 8 groups Water 2 and Dragon. Hatch Time 5 cycles. Regardless, its height is 21 feet and 4 inches or 6.5 meters. Its weight as regular Gyarados is 518.1 pounds or 235 kilograms. As Mega Gyarados, it's 672.4 pounds or 305 kilograms. Mega Stone is Gyaradosite. Base experience yield is 214 in the first four gens and 189 in five plus. Leveling grade is slow. EV yield is two in attack. Shape is that. Has no feet, so no footprint. Pokedex color is blue, and base friendship is 70. Gyarados is a dual-type water-flying Pokemon introduced in Gen 1. It evolves from Magikarp starting at level 20. Gyarados can Mega Evolve into Mega Gyarados using Gyaradosite. Biology, Gyarados is a Pisine, draconic Pokemon with a long serpentine body covered in slightly overlapping scales. It is mostly blue with a yellow underbelly and... It has a row of yellow spots down each side. Its mouth is very large and gaping, bearing four pointed teeth and yellow lips. It has one pair of barbel and a small white fin on each side of its face. The barbels are white on a female and blue on a male. It has small red eyes, a three-pointed dark blue crest on its head, and four white spiky dorsal fins. Gyarados's tail fin is similar in structure to the crest on its head, except with a thin white fin spread between the points. This is what Gyarados looks like with its mouth closed. The process of evolution causes a change in its brain structure that is believed to cause its violent nature. Gyarados's fangs can crush stones, and its scales are harder than steel. Gyarados is feared for its fierce temper and wanton destructive tendencies since ancient times. In some regions, Gyarados is called the Deity of Destruction because of this. It appears in times of conflict and destroys the surrounding area. Its rampages have been known to last a month at a time. These rampages can occur even during a harsh storm. A Gyarados's rage won't stop completely until everything is destroyed. Some believed any human settlement is fated to be destroyed should a Gyarados appear. Gyarados lives in both fresh and salty waters. Both Gyarados and its mega form have demonstrated in the anime that it can leap huge distances both from the water and from the ground, usually several times its own body length. However, Gyarados is rarely seen in the wild. The move Hyper Beam is often associated with Gyarados due to it being powerful enough to instantly destroy everything it hits. Forms Gyarados can Mega Evolve into Mega Gyarados. When it Mega Evolves, Gyarados becomes bulkier, the fins on its cheeks become longer and gain a yellow tint. Its crest is larger and black, and its barbels also gain considerable length. A large spike extends downward underneath its chin, and it now has a black underside with a red stripe around the edges. The yellow spots along its body are replaced by raised red scales which propel Mega Gyarados through the water. Two large yellow fins with blue spines appear on its back. Most of the other fins along its back disappear, replaced by two rows of blue spikes. There are now four yellowish spiky fins near its tail. 
two on its back and two on its underside. Due to the stress Mega Evolution puts on a Gyarados' body, it becomes even more ferocious than before. All other brain functions cease when Mega Evolution occurs, except for the destructive drive to burn down anything into cinders. Despite its brain having a powerful destructive instinct, it will obey a trainer it truly trusts. Mega Gyarados can launch at mock speed by using its orifices to release water from both sides. With this speed, it has enough power to slit large ships in two. Mega Gyarados is tied with Hoopa Unbound as the tallest dark type. This is Mega Gyarados, this is what it looks like, so you can see the water inside and dark outside. Evolution Gyarados evolves from Magikarp, so Magikarp Gyarados. Game data, in Diamond and Pearl, a red Gyarados is featured on the TV on a program called Search for the Red Gyarados. It is this that inspires Lucas or Dawn and their rival to go to Lake Faraday to see if there is a rare Pokemon dwelling in it. NPC appearances, I have no idea why that one doesn't count as an NPC appearance, but whatever. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, darkness, and sky, a Gyarados appears in the Miracle Sea. He scares off the Fione in order to claim the Fione Du, but it is stopped by the player's team. Poke Park Wii, Pikachu's adventure, Gyarados tries to take over the beach zone in Empoleon's absence. Pikachu then has to beat Gyarados' Aqua Dash, so Gyarados stops trying to take over. Pokemon Magikarp Jump, the player's Magikarp may evolve into Gyarados as part of the Adios Gyarados and Macho Carp random events. However, once it evolves into Gyarados, it is forced to retire. Aww. Pokin Tournament. Gyarados has been shown in the background of the Magikarp Festival stage as an NPC background Pokemon. Aww. Pokedex entries. In Gen 1, in red and blue. Rarely seen in the wild. Huge and vicious. It is capable of destroying entire cities in a rage. Yellow. Brutally vicious and enormously destructive. Known for totally destroying cities in ancient times. Stadium. Extremely vicious and horribly brutal. Has enough destructive power to totally annihilate even a major city. Gen 2, gold. They say that during the past wars, Gyarados would appear and leave blazing ruins in its wake. Silver. Once it appears, it goes on a rampage. It remains enraged until it demolishes everything around it. Crystal. It appears whenever there is world conflict, burning down any place it travels through. For Stadium 2, if you have Pokemon Red, Silver, or Crystal inserted, you get the Gold entry, but if you have Pokemon Blue, Gold, or Yellow inserted, you get the Silver entry. In Gen 3 and Ruby, when Magikarp evolves into Gyarados, its brain cells undergo a structural transformation. It is said that this transformation is to blame for this Pokemon's wildly violent nature. Sapphire wants Gyarados goes on a rampage. Its ferociously violent blood doesn't calm until it has burned everything down. There are records of this Pokemon's rampages lasting a whole month. Emerald, it is an extremely vicious and violent Pokemon. When humans begin to fight, it will appear and burn everything to the ground with intensely hot flames. Fire Red, it has an extremely aggressive nature. The Hyper Beam, it shoots from its mouth, totally incinerates all targets. Leaf Green is the red and blue entries. In Gen 4 and Diamond, once it appears, its rage never settles until it has raised the fields and mountains around it. Pearl. In ancient literature, there is a record of a Gyarados that raised a village when violence flared. Platinum. Once it begins to rampage, a Gyarados will burn everything down, even in a harsh storm. Heart Gold. They say that during past strife, Gyarados would appear and leave blazing ruins in its wake. Soul Silver is the silver entry. The Gen 5 entries are basically Platinums, but Gyarados is the correct casing now. In Gen 6, X is basically the Pearl entry, but Gyarados is now the correct casing. Y is Red, Blue, and Leaf Green's entry. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are basically Ruby and Sapphires, but Magikarp, Gyarados, and Pokemon are now the correct casing. In Gen 7, for regular Gyarados, in sun, a tale is told of a town that angered Gyarados. Before the sun rose the next day, flames utterly consumed the town, leaving not a trace behind. Moon, there are people who swear that any place Gyarados appears is fated for destruction. Ultra Sun, it fires hyper beams in all directions, burning the surrounding area to ash. There are some regions where it's called the Deity of Destruction. Ultra Moon, the energy from evolution stimulated its brain cells strongly, causing it to become very ferocious. The Let's Go Games entry is Yellow's entry. For Mega Gyarados and Sun, Mega Evolution also affects its brain, leaving no other function except its destructive instinct to burn everything to cinders. Moon, it jets water from the orifices on its sides, streaking above the water surface at supersonic speed. 
Ultrasun, Mac Evolution places a burden on its body. The stress causes it to become all the more ferocious. Ultra Moon, it zooms out of the water at mock speeds. Even large ships caught in its path are split cleanly in two. In the Let's Go games, Although it obeys its instinctive drive to destroy everything within its reach, it will respond to orders from a trainer it truly trusts. In Gen 8, Swords is the fire red entry, but Hyper Beam is the correct casing. And two words. Shield is the Gen 5 entries. Brilliant Diamond is similar to Diamonds, but slightly different, so I'll read it. Once Gyarados appears, its range never settles until the Pokemon has raised the fields and mountains around it. Shining Pearl is X's entry. Legends Arceus? I suspect this Pokemon to be the true identity of a dragon written of in ancient texts, which claimed that it raised an entire village with white-hot beams from its maw. Ancient texts! Even at this point, wow. In Gen 9, Scarlet is the silver entries. Violet is crystal's entry. So we've got Gyarados in the Alola Pokedex, and Mega Gyarados in the Alola Pokedex. Got Gyarados in the Paldea Pokedex. It's nice. Body of water, I don't know if it's sunset or sunrise, but that's pretty cool. It's also looks to be doing basically the same pose as its Alola Pokedex image here, that's fun. Um, we got Gyarados in the Kitakami Pokedex, jumping up a waterfall, which is very fun because of the the legend or the origin that's believed, you know, to be what it's based on, so that's that's a fun little reference to that. Game locations Side game locations, events, held items, Pokemon caught in Gen 1 must be traded to a Gen 2 game in order for a held item to appear. In red, blue, and yellow, you get a Bitterberry 100% of the time. In Legends Arceus, for normal, you get a Sky Tumble Stone 35% of the time, Ball of Mud 15% of the time, and Grid Items by level. For Alpha, you get an EXP Candy L 100% of the time, Seed of Mastery 40% of the time, Grit Items by level, still don't know how the math works. Stats, base stats, will compare Gyarados and Mega Gyarados. So HP 95, that's just the same. Attack 125, that goes up to 155. Defense 79, that goes up to 109. Special attack 60, that goes up to 70. Special defense 100, that goes up to 130. Speed 81, that's just the same. So this one's for a total of 540, and this one's for a total of 640. In the Gyarados box here, this Pokemon's special base stat in Gen 1 was 100. Pokathon stats and type effectiveness. We'll compare Gyarados and Mega Gyarados. So Gyarados is damaged normally by normal flying poison, ghost, grass, psychic, ice, dragon, dark, and fairy. The ones that say are normal flying poison and dragon, the rest go away and it also adds rock, so, and ground. Mega Gyarados is damaged normally by normal flying poison, ground, rock, and dragon. Gyarados is weak to rock for double, and electric for four. Mega Gyarados is weak to fighting, bug, grass, electric, and fairy, all for double. Gyarados is immune to ground, while Mega Gyarados is immune to psychic. Gyarados is resistant to fighting, bug, steel, fire, and water for half, while Mega Gyarados is resistant to ghost, steel, fire, water, ice, and dark for half. In the Gyarados box here, notes... If gravity is an effect, this Pokemon is given an Iron Ball or a Ring Target or is affected by Smackdown or Ingrain, the effectiveness of Ground-type moves is 1, so go from 0 to 1. For Mega Gyarados, notes, if Miracle Eye is used by an opponent, the effectiveness of Psychic-type moves is 1, so go from 0 to 1. For Learn Set, by leveling up, we'll do the Evo, then go down to Waterfall. Upon Evolution, it gets Bite, 21 Waterfall, 24 Crunch. 28 Rain Dance, 32 Aqua Tail, 36 Dragon Dance, 40 Hydro Pump, 44 Hurricane, 48 Thrash, 52 Hyper Beam. By TMs, 001 Takedown, 6 Scary Face, 7 Protect, 10 Ice Fang, 11 Water Pulse, 22 Chilling Water, 25 Facade, 28 Bulldoze, 34 Icy Wind, 44 Dragon Tail, 46 Avalanche, 47 Endure, 49 Sunny Day, 50 Rain Dance, 51 Sandstorm, 66 Body Slam, 70 Sleep Talk, 77 Waterfall, 82 Thunder Wave, 85 Rest, 87 Taunt, 94 Dark Pulse, 99 Iron Head, 100 Dragon Dance, 103 Substitute, 108 Crunch, 115 Dragon Pulse, 123 Surf, 125 Flame Thrower, 126 Thunderbolt, 130 Helping Hand, 135 Ice Beam, 141 Fire Blast, 142 Hydro Pump, 143 Blizzard, 149 Earthquake, 150 Stone Edge, 152 Giga Impact, 156 Outrage, 160 Hurricane, 163 Hyper Beam, 166 Thunder, 171 Terra Blast, 172 Roar, 177 Spite, 188 Scald, 199 Lash Out, 200 Scale Shot, 
204 Double Edge, 205 Endeavor, 207 Temper Flare, 208 Whirlpool, 209 Muddy Water, and 226 Dragon Jeer. By breeding, we're skipping. I guess it doesn't learn any of those. By Revolution, there's nothing. Special moves. In the Wild Terra Pokemon event, you can get Outrage, which is a physical dragon type move. Its power is 120, accuracy 100, and PP is 10. TCG only moves, wrap in this card. Side game data for Gyarados here. We got all this. Yep. Pokemon Ranger in the browser entry. Gyarados is a brutal Pokemon that can spit a huge jet of water from its mouth. Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure in the Poke Park Pad entry. Gyarados is the attraction chief of Gyarados' Aqua Dash in the Beach Zone. After he got too cocky, he said he wanted to become the Zone Keeper. Got all this. Yep. 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 New Pokemon Snap in the photo decks. Gyarados is extremely aggressive and strong enough to destroy everything in its path. The gouges in the rocky cliffs of Mighty Wide River were actually caused by Gyarados climbing up the waterfall. Mega Gyarados. Yep. Form data, Mega Evolution. So you got Gyarados, Gyarados Sight. Mega Gyarados. Evolution data, Magikarp, level 20, Gyarados. Sprites here, so this first generation, it's pretty good. Um, you know, got a lot of the basics, the blue, of course, which is nice, and the white, I guess, yeah, as well. Um, yeah, not really much of it's gonna change other than colors. I think it's a little bit different, a little bit, you know, maybe a little bit longer. The scales, I think, are a little different. Yeah, they're definitely different than these two, and get the kind of the full kind of pattern here in yellows. Um, the back right doesn't work for yellows, because it's a different blue, and a lot else is different. Doesn't really work for the, this one as well, because the scales are different. Um, so Gen 2 introduces the this here, and then the shiny. It's kind of an orange. It's more of a red in the silvers. But yeah, you get all the yellows and stuff. Uh, very iconic shiny um, thing. Well, yeah, very recognizable one. I think maybe because it is such a huge deviation from this one. Um, yeah. Then it becomes kind of a red, the shiny. These become kind of a yellow-green, I guess, the highlights. Um, yeah, not really much changes. This is, yeah, this is a lot, yeah, these are a lot thinner, the, the uh, this crest, I guess. Um, the tail, I'm sure, is a little bit different as time goes on. Um, yep. It's more of an orange and fire red and leaf green. Uh, yeah, then we get the, the truly iconic red. So, yeah, so in the, in the Gen 4, you get the white for the females, you know, blue for the males. Um, the, the crest is now a lot darker than the body, it's a lot lighter blue. Um, let's do different reds for that. Um, yeah, not much changes. I should probably count the things, shouldn't I? Can't really, looks like one, two, three, four, five, I can't really do it for that one. Can maybe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen for the head. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, I guess. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, nope, that's still thirteen. So I think it's just universally gonna be thirteen. I'm not even gonna bother counting at this point. Um, anything different about the? I mean, you know, the fins are a little different as time goes on as well. Black and white. It's, you know, it's a different sprite, but you get the full wax sprite here. Yeah. Um, it's, it's interesting to see what this piece looks like. Um, and you got the models, pretty good, pretty faithful, I'd say. Uh, definitely darker colors. This is almost like a flip of its body and its crest color. That's interesting. Uh, you get Mega Gyarados here as well. See how cool that looks. Uh, we get the shiny, so then shiny Mega Gyarados, of course, it's the reddish pink. That makes sense in the red. And, yeah, just a bunch of shades of red. Um... Uh, that's interesting that, that it's a darker... Is it darker? Yeah, it is. It's a darker red for the little bumps there. Uh, that's interesting. Um, sun and moons, not a huge difference, but I'm sure there's probably some difference. Uh, anything about the coloring? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Then the Let's Go games. You got all these. Yeah. It's pretty good body. You know, better models, of course. Uh, 
Oh, it's a black. Oh, the crest is now... Oh, it is a... Yeah, it's... It's... The crest for the Mega is black. But it's not... It's like a different red. It's a different shade of red. It's actually reverse, I think. The red is for these. That's interesting. And then it did that. Um... Yeah, it's unique. Um, and sword and shields, of course. Got these nicer models, even. And the Zarsius, these models, yep. Yeah. Oh, the, the crest is, yeah, this is kind of a lighter crest. This is a darker crest. I'm sure, the different blues. This is more yellow, back to, yeah, back to being the yellow. Uh, this is now a differentiating in the belly. Which I think it's the first time they've done that. It's majorly, anyway. Yeah, so now it's sort of a yellow versus the tan. That's interesting. Um, yep. In the anime, James Iscarius is one of the big ones. I guess Misty had one as well. Um, and Red. Or, oh, and the Red Gyarados. Right? Gyarados in the anime. Uh, Mega Gyarados in the anime. That's pretty cool. Then Shiny Gyarados in the anime. Shiny Mega Gyarados in the anime, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, got all this. Yeah, Pokedex entry. For this first one, I recorded for that scene in the beginning of the video where I featured a clip from this episode, so we'll let Dexter read it. Gyarados! This Pokemon has a vicious temperament, so use extreme caution. Its fangs can crush stones, and its scales are harder than steel. In Sun and Moon, episode 43, in the Rotom Pokedex, Gyarados, the atrocious Pokemon, a water and flying type. Rumors exist of a town that made Gyarados angry. That town was burned to the ground in one night, leaving no trace. Pokemon Generations, you got a Gyarados in here. Looks like it's on land, which is interesting. Got a Steelix, Salamence, Talonflame, Lunatone, Golurk, Rhyperior, and Solrock here. Oh, and looks like a Honage. And we got a Shiny Gyarados in Pokemon Generations. Yeah, we got all this. Gyarados and a Poketune, I guess. Pokemon Evolutions, Gyarados and Pokemon Evolutions. Mega Gyarados and Pokemon Evolutions. Pokemon Paldeo wins. So Gyarados and Pokemon Paldeo wins. We already talked about this one, so I'm not gonna... I think in the Slowpoke video, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna bring it again. Yeah, it has to be, because it's the only one in the, we've talked about in this image. In the manga, Gyarados and the Electric Tales of Pikachu. So this is... Uh, that's a little bit scary. Uh, probably to emphasize how terrifying it is for those two. Yeah. Its fangs are very sharp. You know, very point. You know, very long. Very snake-like. Um, Pokemon Adventures, Normal and Shiny Gyarados and Pokemon Adventures. I'm not sure how you, I mean, I guess because it's slightly different. Um, they must mention that it is a shiny because that's so small of a difference. Also, it's a lot more cartoony than, uh, than the other one. Um, yep, then we got Mega Gyarados and Pokemon Adventures. Yeah, 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 the crest, yep. Pokedex Entries, Pokemon Adventures, Chapter 6. The Evolved Form of Magikarp. Rarely seen in the wild, huge and vicious, it is capable of destroying entire cities in a rage, can fire a hyper beam from its mouth. In the TCG, Red Gyarados have appeared five times in the TCG, once in Neo Revolution as Shining Gyarados, once in EX Holland Phantoms as Gyarados Star Delta, I guess, once in Heart Gold and Soul Silver as Gyarados, and twice in Breakpoint as Gyarados EX and M Gyarados EX. Other appearances, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Gyarados appears as a trophy. Trophy information, an atrocious Pokemon rarely seen in the wild. When it does appear, it's usually running rampant in a destructive rage. Behavior that has the unfortunate side effect of leaving whole cities in ruin. It is said that when humans begin a conflict, Gyarados incinerates the towns of both warring parties. There are records of a Gyarados rampage lasting as long as a month. Its pre-evolution form is Magikarp. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Gyarados appears as a spirit. Pokemon Detective Pikachu, you can see that here. This is one of them, there's two of them. It says there's only one of them, and this one, that's just wrong. Pokemon Unite, Gyarados is playable through obtaining a Unite license. It is a melee, all-arounder, that starts as Magikarp, which evolves into Gyarados by either filling up an effort gauge or reaching level 7. We've got Gyarados and Pokemon Unite. 
trivia in the Pokemon Red and Blue Beta, Gyarados' name was Skull Kraken, a combination of Skull and Kraken, a mythological sea monster. The radio drama The Birth of Mewtwo contains an audio footage of Gyarados' discovery by a female researcher which ends disturbingly. Gyarados' original design resembled a massive, leech-like creature without eyes, though this has now been debunked and is attributed to the myth of Namazu, read more below in origin, the eyes can now be spotted as tiny dots. Gyarados, Magikarp, and Regigigas are the three Pokemon that can be encountered in the wild at the lowest and highest levels. In Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, Gyarados can be found at levels ranging from level 1 to 100 in the Nature Preserve by using a Super Rod in Rippling Water. In Gens 2 and 4, Gyarados is the first of only two shiny Pokemon to be integrated into a game's plot. The second was Celebi in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time and Explorers of Darkness, and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Gyarados' shiny form is the first shiny Pokemon to appear in the Pokemon Adventures manga. So we've read this main seventh point here in the magic art video, but I haven't read the sub point, so we'll read it. Gyarados is the only flying type Pokemon in the water to a group. Despite it being part flying type, Gyarados could not learn any flying type moves naturally prior to Gen 7. Wow, that took a while. Gyarados is tied with Pelipper as the most common Pokemon found amongst gym leaders, being used by seven of them. In many ways, Gyarados is the counterpart of Melodic. Both are serpentine, evolved forms of weak fish Pokemon, and both appear in times of conflict. Gyarados to destroy, Melodic to become. Both have base stat totals of 540, the only difference being the distribution of their attack, special attack, and special defense stats. Gyarados is tied with Melodic for the greatest increase in base stat total after evolving at 340 points. Mega Gyarados is tied with Hoopa Unbound for being the tallest Dark-type Pokemon. Gyarados appears in Pokemon Battle Chess. It doesn't behave like any traditional piece in chess. It is only present after Magikarp is damaged. So you can see that here. Gyarados in Pokemon Battle Chess. I don't know why it's not down here more. Gyarados has featured as multiple cultural references in the Pokemon franchise, including Kyonobori in the anime and a 1997 May calendar insert, Cha Chi Hoko on a Nagoya castle pin, Merlion from Pokemon Center Singapore, and most historically as the, the Dragon Gate myth discussed further below. Origin Gyarados appears to be based on a sea dragon or sea serpent and a Chinese dragon. It is also partially based on a legend about how carp that leaped over the Dragon Gate would become dragons. Several waterfalls and cataracts in China are believed to be the location of the Dragon Gate, such as the Longwin Mountain. This is referenced by Pokemon Snap as the player needs to get Magikarp into a waterfall to evolve it into Gyarados, but only after it leaps over a mountain. This legend is an allegory for the drive and efforts needed to overcome obstacles, which can be tied to the fact that Gyarados's pre-evolved form Magikarp could possibly take a lot of drive and effort to legitimately evolve into Gyarados. It may be partially based on the Kraken, as both are destructive sea monsters that are infamous for terrorizing humans. To add to this, one of Gyarados's original names was considered to be Skull Kraken. Gyarados's flying type may be a reference to Koinobori, a carp-shaped windsock traditionally flown to celebrate Children's Day in Japan, formerly called Tango no Seku, though it is more likely to be associated with eastern dragons in general due to their association to water and the sky, such as the Azure Dragon. It could also be inspired by the South African cryptid Inkenyamba, a giant winged eel that causes storms when angry, a trait Gyarados is famous for. Mega Gyarados' appearance bears similarities to the aforementioned Koinobori. Furthermore, its design, specifically its large dorsal fins, strongly resemble that of the unnamed legendary water Pokemon seen in the Pokemon anime episode Enlighten Up. First aired on April 18th, 2002, in which Misty recounts seeing an unknown water Pokemon, the creature may have inspired the design of Mega Gyarados when it was eventually created 10 years later. So you can see. The unnamed Pokemon resembling Vega Gyarados. It's pretty cool if they, if they did that. That 
Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. On December 2018, I should say in December 2018, or it's missing a date, the beta sprite for Gyarados was showcased on the NHK broadcast in Japan, bearing the resemblance of a worm-like body with a mouth full of sharp teeth. Barbels on the top of its head and multiple fins on the side of its body. The inspiration for this original design may be related to the myth of Namazu, or Onamazu, from 16th century Japan. Namazu was known as a catfish that was said to destroy cities with earthquakes and appear during times of human conflict, much like Gyarados' Pokedex entries in the original first two generations of games. Namazu's history as a mythos is also directly tied to Lake Baiwa, the real-life version of the Lake of Rage where said earthquakes were said to occur. This idea was later replaced with the Dragon Gate myth and rehashed in Gen 3 as the inspiration for Whiskash, appropriately named Namazoon. Ah, Name origin, according to Ken Sugimori, Gyarados' name has no specific origin, was chosen merely for its force. However, it may be variously derived from Gyakusatsu, slaughter, Gyak, Kyo, adversity, Gyakuten, reversal, turnaround, Arosu, to devastate, and Adosu, to threaten. In other languages, got all this, related articles, references, external links to the Mega Evolutions, uh, external, yeah, got all this, let's move on. Now let's watch the first scene of Gyarados in the anime. Hello and welcome to the anime portion of the video. Today we are watching episode one, Pokemon I Choose You. Uh, in this episode, Ash Ketchum, whose leg this is, uh, the main character, has started his Pokemon journey with Pikachu. They have escaped a flock of Spearow by jumping into this river here, and then they're they're gonna see a Gyarados as they're being swept away. There's the Gyarados. Yep. And that was Gyarados' first scene in the anime. Let's move on. Oh, that's Misty, by the way. She's important to the series. Now let's watch the scenes with Gyarados and Detective Pikachu. Hello and welcome to the Detective Pikachu portion of the video. Or as I like to call it, Detective Gyarados, as it's only the frames with Gyarados, as you can see here. And I think they're all male, because I think they're all the sort of blue. I know that kind of ends with a sort of a whiter tip, but, for the, you know, for the most part, it's the blue barbels. Um, before I begin, later we'll see a... Gyarados evolving from a Magikarp. I'm gonna count, like, you might see a little bit of the Magikarp in there. I apologize. It's, you know, not that easy to do it when there's an evolution. So, in the film, uh, Tim Goodman is watching a video explaining Rhyme City, a city where humans and Pokemon coexist. Right now, the video is talking about how partnership between humans and Pokemon became uh, into Pokemon battles here. So, this trainer has an Arcanine and a Gyarados out. For some reason, this trainer only has one Pokeball, so like if it's a 2v2, I don't know, or maybe this is his last Pokemon, I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Pokemon Battles. Okay, here, it also appears on this poster here for the 10th anniversary of Rhyme City. So this is Tim Goodman, the main character. Uh, this is a Psyduck that becomes important. Uh, I don't know how much it's important for this video, though. Uh, yes. So now we've cut to a little later, Tim has met Detective Pikachu, a talking Pikachu who has amnesia. He's explaining that, how he has amnesia, and there's the Gyarados in the poster again. And they've gone to this cafe because, a tin, or because Detective Pikachu is Harry's partner, Harry being uh, Tim's father. Um, so, so they're talking about this revelation. So there I was. In the middle of nowhere with a bad case of the forgetsies. Hold up a sec. So, we're gonna... now we're after the cafe scene. He came to Rhyme City because Harry is allegedly dead. He doesn't believe that Harry is dead, but he's kind of denying it and wants to just kind of move on. But he's trying to convince him to team up with him so they can find Harry. And there's the Gyarados in the poster again. Need each other. No! It has them something! Can you magic! Get... It brought us now. So Pikachu is talking about how like he can talk to him and how that's special and how it's magic that brought them together and it's hope that that's the magic and yeah, that he's still that Harry's still alive and stuff. So there's the Gyarados in the poster again. Now he's kind of coming to terms with this agreement. He's kind of gonna agree with Pikachu to help. Yeah. Um, oh. I can't believe. Yep. Just the Gyarados. I will meet you here tomorrow morning. 
Where are you going? So they were going back to his apartment. Um, so now here's that Gyarados that's transforming from the Magikarp here. So in this scene, Tim and Detective Pikachu have found something called the Argas. They've tracked it down to this underground fight club. Whole big scene has happened and all is left in this scene is a Pikachu him, the Magikarp slash Gyarados, and a Charizard. <laughs> Charizard down there. Hey Tim, I don't float. How yes. am I okay, so now we've got to a little bit later, or a lot later, I think, in the film. Um, so the parade is, is getting set up here, as you can see. Uh, there's a Gyarados in the in the like the there's like a video poster, I guess, for the 10th anniversary. Um, this is Lucy Stevens, a reporter that Tim is allied with. It was revealed that Harry is actually still alive, and he was connected to a Pokemon called Mewtwo. And so, Tim and Detective Pikachu found Mewtwo, but Mewtwo was captured by who they think is Roger Clifford, um, the owner of the news and the son of Howard Clifford, who is the founder of Rhyme City. So he's going to tell Howard about Roger capturing Mewtwo, and she's like, how am I going to tell this big news story about Roger, you know, what it's about the guy who runs the news, right? Supposed to break the news when the guy who runs the humanity. So now that's been revealed. Okay, let's go back a little bit. So this is Mewtwo. That was Howard's voice. So what he has done is he's revealed that he's captured. He was the one that actually captured Mewtwo, and he used the neural link here to put his mind inside of Mewtwo. And so he's what he's doing is talking about how he wants the ultimate partnership with humans and Pokemon by merging. Uh, humans with their Pokemon here. Um, there's the Gyarados in the poster here. Um, and so he's about to release the Argas from these floats. It'll go down onto the Pokemon. They'll go crazy. He can use then Mewtwo's powers to merge humans and Pokemon. And Lucy will talk about how, you know, she does, you know, she's trying to announce to the town, you know, don't let your Pokemon breathe the gas. This is Lucy Stevens reporting a citywide emergency. Do not let your Pokemon breathe. <laughs> So now, this is afterwards, so Lucy, this is Lucy and her Psyduck now, uh, they merged, or Mewtwo merged them, or whatever. Um, and this is Detective Pikachu, so earlier in the film, he split from Tim, because Mewtwo showed them a vision where it made it seem like he had betrayed Harry. So, and what, but then he found a evidence at the crash site, which is what allegedly killed Harry. And so, he's come back to town to find this mess of humans inside their Pokemon, um, and so, yeah, he'll talk about that, and the, the Gyarados isn't here, it's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Um, so now we've got to later, uh, Tim has undone the neural link from Howard, but at the time, Mewtwo slash Howard was holding Pikachu, in sort of his confusion, Mewtwo accidentally dropped Pikachu here, and now he's saved him with his psychic powers, and there's the Gyarados in the poster. Yep. So, now Let's never do that. so this is all the people being unmerged by Mewtwo, mm -hmm. and then you can, can't really see it, but it, I mean, it becomes a little bit more obvious in a few seconds here. But the Gyarados is there. Okay, so now Howard's being arrested, um, and so the Gyarados is in the background here. The thing is that so that's Roger Clifford, um, for reals. Uh, and, and so, yeah, he's talking about how he wishes he was there more for his father because they didn't have the best relationship. No matter what his flaws, deep down- Can't believe we- <laughs> yes. Okay, so then they were celebrating how they won and stuff, and now she's gone off. He's all happy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we talked to Pikachu here, and then that was... Okay, so then we're in the credits here, there's a bunch of Gyarados appearing, because... I don't know, they really emphasize the fight between Gyarados and uh, Charizard, even though that really wasn't a fight, as you saw earlier. Um, and so you can see the Gyarados there. Yeah, there's some of these panels, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, you can see it more close up there. And then it's in the spiral here. Um, and that's it, I hope you enjoyed, let's move on. Now let's see why people love Gyarados. 
Now let's look at fan art. Hello and welcome to the fan art section of the video. Nobody's sent in fan art, so instead we're looking at DeviantArt fan art. For those of you who aren't familiar with the series, what we do is we go through these images until we find an image that doesn't contain a Gyarados. So here we've got Mega Gyarados by Nagan Lomsong. It's this Mega Gyarados here with a magic art. That's nice. It's kind of fun image here. Very well done. The lighting is is good. It's, it's great, actually. It's very well done. We've got Gyarados by Francis John. So this nice semi-stylized Gyarados here. Looks a little bit more like a dragon. Very well done. Nice colors. This doesn't contain a Gyarados, so we'll move on. Thanks to everyone who submitted fan art. I won't be streaming tonight as I need to wait until I've talked about Snorlax before it can evolve Magikarp into Gyarados. As for Mega Gyarados, I'll have to wait until I've talked about the Gen 6 Pokemon to get that one. Tomorrow I'll be talking about Lapras. As always, this isn't my proper outfit and you'll see me tomorrow.